Hello guys, this is Matrix Ray, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p versus native PS2. I'll be doing some frame rate testing and show you guys the best settings for urban chaos write response. We are using large frame buffer, custom resolution of 2560 by 1440, 16x anisotropic filtering, mitmap, uh, mitmapping is off, full direct 3D recommended, CRC hack level, and we are using no uh, settings or no hacks to fix up the game. There are issues, but um, I couldn't find a way to fix the ones I'm going to be talking about shortly. Accurate date is on, and we are using basic. You can use whatever you want, doesn't matter. Um, we are using um, texture filtering of display and FXAA on. Now, this game is completely broken on direct 3D hardware. So as you see, direct 3D 11 hardware, or 9 doesn't matter any sort of direct version direct X version is broken for this game on urban chaos right response so I'm using OpenGL for this video um, let's quickly show you something now this game actually really does need this hack on MTVU this is one of the games that actually is very demanding on you know your CPU GPU depending on the resolution you're playing at um, I have six cores you need three plus as you see right there so I would dec definitely recommend this uh, hack on for this game. Not many games need it, but this one does. Now, let's go to the um, target frame rate for the native PS2. They are targeting at 640 by 448. And um, this game actually runs really, really badly on software mode. If you look at the top left corner of my screen, it says 24 frames. The game targets 30 frames. But my counter will go up to 60, you'll see on hardware mode. But uh, as you see, it's very, very slow, very blurry, very uh, unattractive to play in this sort of uh, speed. See, look, the game is running at uh, 30 speed. I mean, this is like less than half, almost a quarter of the speed, which is pretty much unplayable. But I uh, cannot, cannot do anything about it on software mode. So let's show you um, native 1440p. This is native 440p. My frame counter on the top left says 49. So I'm not getting the full speed because this game is demanding even with that hack on. So um, if you really do want to fix up, um, what do you call it, the frame rate uh, for PCs or at least games that don't really like this sort of speed. I'll actually do it at the end of the video, but I also got to show you guys something else at the end of the video. But um, for the time being, I'll show you some comparisons and frame rates. So as you see, um, this is an issue I've ran into on hardware mode. I tried all these settings, all these hacks, and they couldn't fix it. She died. But do you see on the ground, next to the shadow, there's a green, um, green line right next to the shadow, and you see there's a purple one right there? This game has some strange filter on it on hardware mode. Obviously, it's not emulated correctly, because if you look at software mode, there is no, um, there's no, the, there's no colors. It's just, it looks right. The color correction on hardware mode is broken, the color correction on software mode is working. So what's up with that right there? <laughs> but other than that, this game runs, you know, pretty good. Mostly full speed, looks brilliant. Um, besides, there's a bit of flickering right there. I think that's the developer's fault actually. But other than that, um, I am playing this game in each of 1440p, but if anyone else wants to agree with me out there, um, this game does not look very native to me. It looks a bit blurry, like it's a bit, so, it's a bit soft for this resolution. Interlacing this game does not work. Some games actually have broken upscaling. This game kind of does in my opinion, that's why it doesn't look as native as I want it to be. But uh, interlacing um, this game does not seem to actually fix it. So uh, I cannot do anything about that. But other than that, um, let's show you guys the issues, the other issues that this game has. So it doesn't really matter. Um, if you're going to download this game, stick around. If you're not going to download it, don't bother sticking around. So I just want to show you guys a few other things. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. See what I mean? Um, <laughs> you cannot see what you're doing. Oh, I thought my game crashed. Yeah, this game is completely broken on um, uh, DirectX 11. And do you see that like that wavy thing? That is actually really cool. I'm not going to lie. It actually looks very trippy. <laughs> um, let's turn that off. I'll show, you with, I'll show you one more thing that can actually fix up the game. But I don't really care if I don't fix it up. I don't mind the speed I'm getting right now. 
go back to that. And if you are someone that has a inferior PC or um, is using a an, emu uh, an emulator that is not the 1.5 May 2017 Git version, as you see, this is my developer version right there. Um, you, if you're running an earlier version that's even worse than this, you may want to turn on allow 8-bit texture because this disables this um, this um, setting. And this is probably filtering in games can be demanding, so turn it off and the game should run a lot better. So let's run around real quick. Here's another frame rate test real quick. So I'm not, oh no, I'm not still getting full speed at all. It is a little bit better, but I'm not getting the full speed I want. I'm very, very close to getting full speed though. It is noticeable. It feels more consistent. But other than that, this is pretty much my comparison. This is what the game looks like in this current state on hardware mode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.